Hello and uh, welcome to the Straw Bite Workshop. My name's Carl and in the workshop today uh, we're going to be building an overhead camera rig. Uh, something that I think is going to give a, a new perspective on some of the work and enable me to use my workbench a little bit more. That's coming up. So this is my workbench and um, it sits alongside my drill press and I have the opportunity with it being quite a small workshop to mount an overhead camera on the wall. Okay so let's get started with the parts. Uh, we have a gate hinge, uh, assorted screws. Um, now I want to monitor for the camera so I've got um, a HDMI to uh, DVI cable. Um, this is really a very useful small rig, uh, flexible joint, we'll be using some of that. Um, we've got uh, some um, 3 8 inch to quarter inch 20 inserts, they're um, adapter rings and we'll be using those. And I, I've made a start already and I, I've made a, a wooden bracket, it's, a, it's an L shaped piece a piece of MDF essentially glued to a piece of pine and shaped um, and this will form the bracket. Okay. And I have a, um, a uh, an old Samsung monitor that will be wall mounted but we'll come on to that in a moment. So let's get started. Start by marking the first hole 20 millimeters from the end of the arm and then every 50 millimeters along its length. This gives me a range of mounting points for the camera when it's used overhead. Okay, so I want to make um, the drill holes uh, to fit these inserts. So the thing about camera inserts is they kind of go back to the days of imperial measurements. So they're all quarter, they're all in inches, um, and the pitch thread as well is rather coarse. So I'm just measuring these up, and uh, it's about just a fraction over eight millimeters. So I'll need to drill. Drill out my holes with an 8mm bit. I'll drill one and see if it fits, and if it does, then I'll drill the others. That's what's coming up. Okay, that fits. For strength, each insert is super glued into its hole. The gate hinge is actually quite stiff, so I don't intend to put a brace or a bracket to stop the arm from moving once it's been set into position.
Here we can see a range of camera mounting options. I think this has really turned out quite well and he's going to be pretty flexible in what is quite a tiny workshop. So there we go. Um, I think this has really turned out very well and what I really like about this particular rig and you can see this uh, is the fact that I have multiple mounting points for uh, my camera so I can choose a, a range of angles and I've got um, several other options here for mounting microphones and lights. So. I'm really pleased and uh, I look forward to seeing you very soon, hopefully with a, a make made on this very table. Take care. Cheerio.